Hello everyone, I am Lynn, this is my project, and today I will be sharing with you how to make your very own violet sake at home, along with a non-alcoholic version and a bubbly one. The violet sake can be found at the Oriental House in the Japan Pavilion at Walt Disney World in Epcot. The violet sake ranks as one of my all-time favorite drinks at Walt Disney World, and I'd love to hear from all of you. What is your favorite Disney World cocktail? In the comments down below. Full disclaimer, this is not an official Walt Disney World recipe. I used my expertise and experience as a bartender to get my hands on the ingredients and figure out through um, many, many tries which one tasted the best and the closest to me. So this is my Violet Sake copycat recipe. The ingredients you'll need to get started is the sake you can find at your local wine store. I found this one at Walgreens liquor store. It's about $7. Not too difficult to find. If you have a problem, you can ask the attendant. Next ingredient is the roses lime juice. That is a very important ingredient. I don't use fresh lime juice, I just use roses for this one. And the most important ingredient of all is the Monin Desert Pear. This, after much, much searching, I finally found it on the Monin website. I, if they are not a sponsor, this is just the only place I could find it. Um, I highly recommend it, it was the easiest place to attain it. For the other two versions, if you're making the non-alcoholic version, instead of the sake, you'll want just regular flat water. If you're making the bubbly version, in addition to these three items, you'll need lime-flavored sparkling water. Any brand, this is just what they had at the store. As for tools, I use bartending tools. I have shakers and jiggers on hand, but you don't need them at all. You can just use a regular glass. Instead of gently shaking, you can just stir it. And as far as the jigger, if you have a quarter cup measure and a tablespoon measure, that'll work perfectly. A quarter cup is equal to two ounces and one tablespoon is equal to a half ounce. I will link down in the description below all of the conversions for all the recipes. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, ring that bell if you're enjoying my video. All right, on to the best part. Let's make some violet sake. You're gonna start with a shaking tin and a generous portion of ice. Then you'll add four ounces of your sake or a half cup. Next, we'll add three quarters of an ounce or one and a half tablespoons of Rose's lime juice. And then lastly, we will add just a half ounce or one tablespoon of Monin Desert Pear. Which the desert pear, they're talking about the prickly pears that are on cactuses. At this point, if you're not using a shaking tin, you can just stir the ingredients and you're good to go. If you're shaking, gently shake. Now you'll grab your glass and fill it with fresh ice. Take my strainer, if you're using a shaker, strain over the fresh ice. Perfect. And then garnish with a lemon wheel. Not necessary, but it sure adds to the beauty of it. There's your violet sake. Brings me right back to Epcot. If you want to make the non-alcoholic version of this, all you have to do is swap out the four ounces of sake for four ounces of water and follow the instructions exactly the same. Let me have one more sip of this. Oh, it's so good. Next, for our third version of the Violet Sake, I decided to go bubbly style. So with this one, we're gonna start out with fresh ice. Do not shake this one. Please don't shake this one. You'll have a big violet explosion all over. You don't want that. Start out with two ounces of sake or a quarter cup. Next, you'll add three quarters of an ounce or one and a half tablespoons of your rose's lime juice. And then you'll add your half ounce of the Monin Desert Pear. Shh. 
Shoop. Make sure you get it all in there because it's pretty thick. It sticks to the inside. And then lastly, you'll add your lime flavored, scared me, lime flavored. We'll do three ounces, which we'll put it in here. It's one, two, three. And I repeat, do not shake this one, please. The sparkling carbonation will send it flying. Gently stir it. Perfect. And then we will take our glass, fresh ice, and strain it like so. And then garnish with a lemon wheel. Oh, it's so refreshing. Thank you so much for watching my video on how to make my copycat version of the Violet Sake at the Japan Pavilion. If you enjoyed it or if you tried it, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing. Ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And remember, every day is a countdown to Disney. Cheers. Do a sake shot. Smells kind of weird. Ugh. Ugh. I don't recommend that. <laughs>